Hi guys, it's Linda Halberg. Today it's time for a Q&A and I've asked you on Instagram and on my blog to ask me some questions for this Q&A. And I asked you to both write down some makeup related questions and some non-makeup related questions. So here we go. What foundation do you recommend for oily skin? Uh, I would recommend Kat Von D Lucky Foundation because I think this one is really good and when you put powder on top of it, it's even better. I mean, I stay matte all day with this one. And with the powder on top, it's, as I said, even better. I was wondering what lightning you use uh, taking your pictures. The lightning looks perfect and I would like to buy something similar. Thank you so much. Uh, I use two soft boxes uh, for my pictures um, to get light from both sides. So I have one here and one over here. Do you believe in astrology character descriptions of the signs and what's your sign? I'm Taurus and I don't know if I believe in that kind of stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I'm I'm kind of in between that, actually. I don't really know. Ooh. What's in your makeup kit for work? And any tips for beginner uh, makeup artists? I only bring what I have to bring. Because I know that many makeup artists, they bring their whole kit for every shoot. And I don't do that. Uh, and one thing is because I get a lot of back pain if I carry everything around, so I don't do that. And if I know that I have a shoot with smoky eyes, for example, I don't bring like these colors because I don't. I know that I wouldn't use them anyway. What I always bring is, of course, brushes. I always bring brush cleaner, uh, makeup wipes, um, foundation, of course, uh, concealer, powder, uh, body cream, uh, some kind of bronzer like or oil to make the skin glowy and I bring highlighters and um, straws is good to bring uh, I mean if you put lipstick on someone then that person probably will need a straw to drink and tampons that's a, an awesome thing to bring because someone always need a tampon and then you're the savior and then I always bring like a black brown eyeshadow uh, the neutrals um, face cream or like a day cream without active ingredients because some people are very sensitive to certain stuff so I always bring like a very very gentle moisturizer and primer can you show your studio the process of shooting the way you make pictures of your makeup uh, I actually will I will make a video very soon of uh, my studio my lightning my cameras and uh, everything that I use to make my videos. Uh, and I hope you will like that because I'm, I'm excited to do it. Are you a vegan and do you have any goals for a makeup career? No, I'm not a vegan. I'm a kind of vegetarian. I eat fish sometimes because when I'm at work, for example, because uh, I'm also a gluten allergic and lactose intolerant. So when I eat out or when I'm at work, it's very difficult to actually get something else than a salad. And if I have any goals for my makeup career, yes, I do. And that's a little bit of a secret, but you'll see. Do you like Nick and Sam, Pixie Woo? Yes, I love them. Uh, what's your favorite clo <laughs> What's your favorite clothing line? I don't know if I have any favorite clothing line. I love budget shopping and. I but I really really love Urban Outfitters because they have a lot of different kinds of clothing and accessories and stuff and a lot of nice brands so I love them and then I also love Monkey uh, and H&M there's a lot of them I don't have a specific favorite but I I just like nice clothes and what it whatever it is I, I don't really care what brand it is I just like nice clothes can you say something in Spanish? Uh, Mi amo linda? You say that right? It's Spanish? I guess it's Spanish. Where do you get the inspiration to create all these amazing looks? I get much inspiration from music, uh, from nature, from 
uh, feelings from uh, from from like everything because makeup is my way of expressing myself before I started makeup I used to draw and paint a lot and uh, just to I like to paint my feelings uh, so that's basically why I'm doing makeup instead because it's more interesting to paint a face than to paint on paint on white paper what are your other talents or skills I'm pretty good in cooking I, at least I think why don't you write in your products what list product list for what you have used on your brows that's because I'm always using the same products basically every single day and I, I think I'm just lazy what's your favorite makeup brand uh, I don't have any I you I mean some brands are good in bases like foundations and stuff some brands are good in eyeshadows some are better in eye pencils eyeliner so I use a lot of brands I don't have one favorite brand which movie character would you like to have dinner with ooh probably Simba because I thought he had a sexy voice at least in the Swedish movie what is your favorite food uh, I would say it's Thai or Indian food I like it very spicy if you were go to a vacation to a country you've never been to, where would it be? I would love to go to Australia. I, I want to go there so bad and also to Iceland. Iceland is pretty close to here but I've never been to Iceland and I've seen it's so beautiful and it's so magical on Iceland and I really really want to go there so I, I just have to go. If you had to pick Another job outside of the makeup industry, what would it, what would you do? Uh, probably I would uh, try to be a, a tattoo artist because that's kind of similar, but it's it's a creative job and I want to do a creative job. Uh, and I also want to work with people. Favorite makeup to do when you're feeling lazy? Uh, when I'm really really lazy, I don't do makeup at all, but. If I'm going to do something and I don't really have time to do makeup, I just put on a base, my brows, and my lips, just like I have right now. <laughs> so this is my lazy makeup. Broke story behind your successful today. Uh, I, when I started, when I did my makeup education, I didn't have any place to live, so I lived in a caravan on a camping in Stockholm for a couple of months. Uh, I don't ha I don't really have a broke story because I grew up in a very nice family and uh, but it was that thing with the caravan it was not really nice actually uh, but that's how I started it I started in a caravan on a camping in Stockholm with my makeup education what makeup remover do you use mostly I use this one from L'Oreal it's cheap and it's very good a makeup hack that changed your life and still use to this day the beauty blender since I bought the beauty blender I haven't used a brush for foundation so yeah the beauty blender definitely which size have your lobes uh, my stretched ears they are eight millimeters What's your favorite lip product right now? It's the one I'm wearing. It's uh, NYX Lip Lingerie in Honeymoon. Do you prefer to talk in English in your videos or in Swedish? Prefer? I would have preferred to speak Swedish, I guess, because when you speak in your own language, it's always more, you can always be more personal and express yourself in a more uh, natural way. But I want to speak English just because I want to learn more, I want to reach out to more people and I feel like it's just great to speak English, so... If you were to do a celebrity's makeup, then who would it be? Oh, probably Lady Gaga because she's a little bit more outside of the box than most of the uh, celebrities are. Uh, Lady Gaga or Katy Perry. When will you come to the US? Actually, I'm going to Las Vegas very, very soon. What is your biggest fear in life? I think my biggest fear in life is to lose control because I am 
I'm a control freak and I always want to have control in everything so my biggest fear is to lose control I would say what was your favorite subject in school that was uh, music and art is there anything you wish you were better on doing I want to be better on like stress down because I'm often very stressed so stressed out is one thing I want to like not worry too, too much about things that's the one thing what's the most unique thing on your bucket list I want to climb a mountain and I'm actually gonna do it this summer if everything goes well so it's Sweden's Sweden's highest mountain that I'm gonna climb uh, but I want to climb a higher mountain sometime do you like animals and what's your hate? height not hate height I love animals and my height is 162 so I'm pretty short are you actually blonde I am actually blonde I my natural hair color is blonde my eyebrows are pretty blonde and uh, but I I don't feel like myself in blonde because I think that the dark hair or colored hair frames my face more than blonde hair do. Linda, I love sunglasses, uh, but I don't like when you get these two red spots here when you have makeup on. Uh, do you have any tips? Actually, I don't because I, I have exactly the same problem and I hate when that happens. So sometimes I just don't bring the sunglasses because I don't want those red things here because they actually stay there the whole day and it's not very nice. So I don't know, but if you have any tips about that, then just comment in the description box because that would be awesome to know. What, what do you do? Do you have plans on doing more tattoos or piercings? I always have plans to do more tattoos or piercings. Uh, I don't know where and I don't know when but I know there's gonna be something someday. Is there any makeup trend you wouldn't do? I don't know, I, you should never say never because someday you will probably do it anyway. So, no, I don't think so. How do you handle hate? Um, I don't get that much hate uh, because I'm not very personal, uh, either on my blog, my Instagram or on YouTube, so uh, I don't get that much hate and all of the positive comments they are so many more and I mean sometimes you get one really bad hate comment and you can feel bad for a whole day or two but I try not to think about it uh, because probably there's just some person that's very jealous or just wanna drag me down Okay, so I don't think I can ha I can do any more because this is going to be a very long Q&A. So, yeah, this is all for today, guys. And don't forget to click thum thumbs up and subscribe to Bang & Beauty. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!